on your own for building your new X-Wing set, but we do have a bucket full of miscellaneous facts for you. What is it? One of my Legos! Welcome to Watch Mojo's Top 5 Facts, the series where we reveal, you guessed it, five random facts about a fascinating topic. In today's installment, we're counting down five things you probably didn't know about Lego. Number five. There's an underground vault that houses every Lego set ever made. Dark and deep in the vaults. Not to be used. Unless at the uttermost end of the vault. They keep gold, religious texts, and seeds in underground vaults. So why not Lego bricks? We have to find the vault. Lego calls it Memory Lane, and it's under the Lego Idea House in Denmark. It holds over 4,700 LEGO sets, almost every set ever manufactured in LEGO's 80-plus year history. They've never been played with. I just want to touch them a little. I said no. Like all vaults built for precious goods, the facility is temperature and humidity controlled and fireproof. It sounds like fun, until you realize every single set must remain unopened and therefore completely inaccessible, creating the perfect metaphor for your childhood. You know the rules. This isn't a toy. No, actually it's a highly sophisticated interlocking brick system. But we bought it at the toy store. Number four, the world's tallest Lego structure had half a million blocks in it. When I had a plan and we were all working together, I mean, we could build a skyscraper. Just when I was feeling good about putting together an entire Lego pirate ship, Hungary goes and one-ups me. Avast, Mateys! <laughs> In 2014, the LEGO store in Budapest enlisted the help of local people to help build the world's tallest interlocking plastic brick structure. Measuring 114 feet, the tower beat the previous record by about a foot and reportedly had 450,000 blocks in it. That seems like a lot. Consider this. Every year, LEGO manufactures 45 billion blocks. Just 40 billion of those would be enough to build a column that reached to the moon. Let's see you do that, Hungary. We need more ideas like it. Oh, thank you. Ideas so dumb and bad that no one would ever think they could possibly be useful. Oh, thank you. Number three, designers are aware of the choking hazard. Kinda. I have to stay up all night because you were sick. Hey, those Lego men were on a rescue mission to save the other Lego men that I swallowed. Whether it's on toy bricks or cold cuts, choking kills. <laughs> The LEGO design team stated that when they redesigned the head of their minifig, the little LEGO dudes, they intentionally left the top hole open. That way, they say, if the piece were to become lodged in a child's windpipe, it could function like a straw instead of a cork. Smart. I eat LEGOs! So did I, son. And look where I am today! Despite this forethought, though, somehow LEGO approved the sale of LEGO Fun Snacks in 2007. These corn syrup diabetes hazards were shaped just like their petroleum product choking hazard counterparts. They could even attach to actual Lego bricks. Parenting blogs must have made enough of a stink, because they haven't been sold for a few years. But you know, I like the originals just as much. Oh, no, 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 hey, don't eat me, don't eat me, do not eat me, please! Number two, thieves might be Lego's biggest fans. Do you want to see what's inside? Absolutely. Lego sets are some of the most resaleable stolen goods. Apparently their value goes up quickly, and they are as untraceable as cash. At least one drug dealer in the Netherlands was actually accepting Lego sets instead of cash. Now the first two are the same, 300 a gram, those are friend prices. But this one is a little more expensive. In 2014, police in Phoenix, Arizona arrested four people who allegedly had storage units filled with $200,000 in stolen Lego sets. No wonder Lego has that vault. Number one, Lego evidence solved a murder case. To a 20 year murder mystery, finally solved because of Lego. In 1991, an elderly woman was killed in her Salt Lake City home. Investigators were baffled and no suspects were ever charged. In 2013, they reopened the case and found usable fingerprints on some Lego bricks found at the scene. Apparently, the murderer brought his son with him and left him to play with some Lego in the other room. 
Using the fingerprints and some fingernail scrapings as DNA evidence, they linked the crime to a death row inmate serving time in another state. So a full 23 years after the murder, Lego Bricks helped the police put the pieces together. And now the prosecution can build a solid case. Please, everyone, everyone! You see what I did there? Rubbish! Which Lego facts do you think are the most surprising? What, 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 what? For more pre-assembled top 10s and easy to swallow top 5s every week, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. End of the line.